Okay. I have some dinner with me. Let's go talk to this. What do they call him? Boot black. Ah, I'm assuming that's like a shoe shiner. Boot blacks don't usually work nights. Need to come back during the day. Dude, it's 7 a.m., bro. It's not that early. So how would you go. explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pipes, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morning, so folks will dirty their boots, go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? His father? Ooh. Yeah, I'm his father. His father. And you won't touch him. I won't let you. Oh, poppycock. I knew his father. A grifter, a cheat, just like his brood. I'll teach him honesty. He'll not leave muck at our shop door just to draw patrons to his own stall. So back away, drifter. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. Blat! Blat! <laughs> We'll break your legs, vagrant! Circle him! Circle him! All together, on three! Uh, putting me in these brawls, man. Get him. You all right, kid? What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men, what are they doing? Impeding my investigation like a bunch of fucking assholes. Nothing really. Had a little misunderstanding. Figured it out though. Uh huh. Yeah, I figured I it out, didn't we, boys? As the Duchess's protege, you may go. But this lord, that's another matter. You'll come with us. Some time in a cell ought to scare the dimwits out of you. Come on. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. Yeah? How do you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership. Where I see to the boots while you stand guard. And as you're the stronger, come morn you take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true. They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow. So, what say you, sir? Hotness? Let me think about it. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait. Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they just come off my stamp. A seat, sir, please. So then, 
Who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm. Indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. 500 what? crowns? Are you kidding me? What would you even do with that kind of coin? Yeah, kid. Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box, too. New polishes, new brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Hmm. Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. All right. You know what, guys? We have delusion level three. He's a kid, though. He's just a kid. I'm not going to use delusion on him. All right. Let's see if we can. I like his idea. I like his business idea. I'll I'll give him three hundred and see what he says. Or sorry, three fifty. That's not even worth the spit I'd need to use to discuss it. All right. I'll meet you in the middle, 425. Ah, see? I knew we'd clinch it. Alright, 425 it is. Guess I can agree to that. A thousand thanks. I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No, but you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. A local necropolis. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort, and piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. The gentleman will look presentable for his me. majesty, would the emperor. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. All right, we help him get a little business Handle going. That kid, pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning the right thing to bribe them with. <laughs> yeah. Well. Red door. One the boot black mentioned. I like the kid. I think he's got a good business going. So he's he was kind of budge. Gotta he's kind of shady with the whole getting kids freaking thing. You might just as well stand out or whatever, the street, but. pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. Consider becoming a burglar? A skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. <laughs> a 
toy shop. Yo, Witcher senses ain't around. got shit on vampire senses, apparently. Let's have a look around. Use your Witcher senses. Search the toy shop. Yep. Eviction notice. Yikes. Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. Somebody fixed this recently. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. Nice little trinket. Sometimes I think I might end up like one of these toys. Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Attic. Let's go. Yep. Attic time. So this is his nest. Need to look around. Suspicious. Detlaf van der Heretain. You do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. <laughs> we know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renawed. Now you know this. <laughs> we shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the middle Ah, of blackmail. <laughs> You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure, your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlove killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Any idea what it could be? Detlove have any enemies? Indeed. Detlove gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. Huh. Who's Renawed? His one-time mother. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Never meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came round to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Hmm. Take it you have your doubts. I know humans better than he does. Their capacity to be disloyal, dishonest. I also know she took her things. Not something that associates with the kidnap, or those who disappear against their will. I'll save you the trouble of asking. No, I don't know why she left. I can, however, hazard a guess that Detlaf grew angry one day, showed another, more monstrous side. Detlaf's anger could frighten anyone off, though most who see it get no chance to flee. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him? Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only yeah. was she his beloved, I saw that in the his vision. lover, his mate. She was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Did Loth ever try to find her? I mean, if she was that important, higher vampires have their ways. All kinds. Should have been easy as pie for him. Geralt, as you rightly noted, we are vampires, not miracle workers. He searched for months on end before giving up. Clearly, Renoued knew him all too well. Enough to cover her tracks. Leave no way for him to find her. Hmm. Even if Renoued did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that. And hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. He's prepared to kill, that's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He killed, True. he cares for her deeply. And that blood. Those individuals. They I bet if you pick Triss, 
He, he would say the same thing about Triss. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more. Hmm. Woman's likeness. Bit smudged. That Renowed? I don't know. As I said, I never met her. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though. Tools were used recently. Detloff unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really, now, Geralt, must you? Nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de La Croix. Detloff's victims, one and all, but that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter, all of it written using the same ink. <coughs> See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite, rare mineral, pretty much found only in... Nazaire, but I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. This slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either. Especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Yeah. Could be a relationship to somebody that... Maybe they are a fan of imports. Right? Because you have imported wines. Could be. Blackmailer. And a curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insisted no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. Hmm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. Just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right, you are. True that. Yep. That's some of we gotta, we gotta, we gotta look at all the evidence, chat. We gotta look at all the evidence. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Detloff's innocence, clearly. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> not how I'd put it. Doubt it's how the Duchess will see it either. I trust you to convince her. Then... What? Go on, don't be shy. See, you've got it all figured out, including the grin I gotta wear. It's a rather bold plan, but... Were we to find Renowed, we would strip the blackmailers of their hold on Detloff. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detloff? You gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'll await with you, maybe. No. He'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaff and I both. Come on, Roach. Come on, Roach. All right. Well, we got to report to the Duchess, and I think uh, I think it's going to be quite interesting no one gives to see this play out. Because I I'm curious to see what the Duchess's thoughts are on this whole blackmail situation. <laughs> Because, I mean, uh, the reason I told him untrue is because the reality is that he still murdered four people. Let me take a look at my quests very quickly. I want to do this before... 
before I'm too high level. Welcome to the pheasantry. Spoon like this. When you set a place, where's it go? My oh my. It seems rather a fanciful bouillon spoon. Or a key of some sort. There's a note here. Yeah, note led me here. Any idea what the key might open? Never seen it before. But you might search the cellars. The previous owner left all sorts of knickknacks there. See you later. Did you care, sir? Our sweet shining sun. No. No, you can't. Not old enough, kid. You shoot your eye out, kid. All right. Let's take a gander up here. We'll go to the farm. Move it. No one can grip the bell. So underneath this, there should be a studio of some kind. Recipes, huh? Let's go talk to the Duchess.
Hmm? <laughs> Come on, Roach. Actually, now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do any more question marks yet. I wanna. I want to do the main quest for a little bit because I think I am a little ways behind. Otherwise, I'm gonna like my XP gains are gonna get nerfed to shit. I reckon that the main quest will go up to level 50, which would make sense considering that I am level 47 right now, and that would put me at level 55 upon the conclusion of the main quest, which sounds about right. Gotta talk to the Duchess about the investigation. I, I gotta be honest with the Duchess because, like, I came here on very good terms, and I need to keep it that way. Garot of Rivia, Master Witcher. Master Wit, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived, and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? Case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster and you return with nothing? No, 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 no. You gotta listen. You gotta listen. This situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Huh. Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods, pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! Your grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Whoa, this is work for a Witcher, not for your guardsmen. Yet when a Witcher fails, my guardsmen. I don't must fucking step like in. this guy. I'll take my best. Forty hardened veterans. No vampire can stand up to that. Forty, fifty, a hundred, doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Ekamaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What, then, do you intend to do? It's way beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Tja, impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. <laughs> They'd probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? Do you have a plan? I want to find him. Try to talk to him. 
That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. <laughs> know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmail? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Well, maybe oh, not like him because he doesn't have extreme. emotions, but... They're emotionally rich, capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human, and he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free, or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only have the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Zell Witcher. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here, there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Erveluse, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me. Tell me what wine is on this page, bitch. Witcher, <laughs> show him the papers. <laughs> that's, about, that's what's about to happen. <laughs> Then <laughs> what can you determine which wine made this stain? Oh, he's getting mm. the aromatics. Mm, yes, yes. The, the West he's Bank tasting. What the fuck? No, that, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hugh oh my God, he's about to fucking nut in his pants. Hi. It's simple, Sonoreal. The 1269 vintage. That's... That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revello. Especially and exclusively for the Ducal table. Perhaps some song real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard. See if there's not been an incident. What about this wine? Song real. Never heard of it. It's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it. As I said, it is only ever served to the Ducal family. Didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper. Unless your grace's sommelier is mistaken. In matters of wine, Benoit is never mistaken. If he says it's Sonreal, it is Sonreal. You must ride to Castel Revello at once. Discover what has happened. What do you have? What do you mean, we? Wait. Your grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. <laughs> but I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Yeah. <laughs> He's already Witcher, fucking up. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. All 
All right. Yep, we're on our way. We are on the way. Going to get the jab done, dude. This vampire. Have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. I am literally 20 XP away from this level up. <laughs> 20. Panthers have attacked the wagon. We must help. Stay back, Your Grace. We shall see to this. Help! Save us! Thank you. You saved our lives. Hooray! Hooray! Alright. Um. Which one did I say? Uh, tissue transformation is what we were working on? Oh, I can get this new one now. Um, yeah, I wanted to do side effects. Boom. There it is. Tell me more about this vineyard, Castel Mavello. It's the best in old Tucson. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it. Fabricio. Fabricio. He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Till now. I wish to know your thoughts, Gerald. The Sonreal stain, how did it wind up on the vineyard? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant. Could be the steward. The wine was just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we arrive. It's not far now. Yeah, we shall. Round around. What sword enchantment am I rocking? It's the bonus damage one when you have more than 100% health. Captain de la Tour, we did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... your grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? Came to see you. Got some questions. In this land, it is seen as polite to introduce oneself before asking any questions. This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint. On my personal Toussaint. invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. <laughs> of... Of course, Your Grace. Yeah, of course. Did you hear that, Witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Want to talk about San Real? I am at your service. He didn't know anything. The Saint Real. How many vineyard workers have access to it? One might say only I do. Not like you make the wine all alone. At least a dozen others work here. 
I see you've little notion how wine is made. Grapes travel a long road before they become Saint Real. The workers assist me only to the stage of fermentation. I see to the maceration personally and let no one near the fat. Workers, again, assist me during barreling, but then I seal the aging barrels myself, each and every one. The wine lies in the cellar, gains character. Once this process is complete, it becomes Sonreal. And as it happens, only I have the key to the cellar in question. It's not him. Somebody could easily have barreled it somewhere else. Like, yeah, technically, like, environment does matter when it comes to barreling and storing wine. But that only goes so far. Geographically, and, like, a lot of it's based on, like, humidity, temperature, stuff like that. When you're talking about, like, geographically this, I, I don't I don't think it's him. I don't think he's the blackmailer. Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Y Your Grace? How am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have, which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. In either case, you shall answer for it. But, but... Silence! And listen, I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Remind me, where is this Sonreal stored? In... in the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, Your Grace. Here it is. Come, Witcher. He's fucking scared shitless. He has no idea. Yeah, somebody fooled his ass. We shall wait here. What if Fabricio's blackmailing the vampire? Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabrizio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravelli. Only then did he come into his own. Yeah, I don't think it's him either. I think, I think somebody... I think somebody switched the wines or something. I think there was a little switcheroo that happened. It had to have been one of the one of the assistants. So where do we start? Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Yeah, we're gonna look at the fucking evidence. No, I'm not playing on controller. I'm using a mouse and keyboard. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is, barreling. Hmm. Everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Okay. That's ever loose. Nope. Ever loose. I like it. Quite dry. An excellent wine. You've good taste. Got Pamino over here. Come on. Out of the way. <laughs> Asked. I think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous for it. 
Fiorano. Dandelion's favorite. Adores it. Ah, yes. That sophisticated palette of his. It's not on this floor, I can tell you that much. Sanreal. 1270 vintage. That's the wrong year. Keep looking. It's here somewhere. Dated 1268. Close, but not quite the right year. Here it is. Right here. 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Full. This one's full too. This one's full too. Full. This one's full too. Looks like all the barrels are full. Damn, dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is are they full of Sanria? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall uh. open them one by one. Ready, we can start. Ready. Step aside. We're doing a wine tasting. <laughs> so those hints of spice. Distinctive. This is Son Real. See what she's got. <clears throat> Revolting, bitter, plonk. Oh shit! Gone shit. While aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Yep. Mr. F. Master Fabricio, I am very oh. disappointed. But your grace, I, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep no, I haven't heard that, Kizo. I'm not gonna speculate until I see something, I, anything I, I, about I the DLC, it. but we've heard nothing. I, I, I sold a barrel of Sorreal. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered, it was enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is because you made mine. it up. I fell roof Why? over my head, <laughs> ample food to eat, but what is a noble Why would you make it up? of his own? I shall tell you everything if you agree to show me mercy. really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool. Very foolish. I beg you, your grace, you must forgive me. To see my reaction? No. I typically don't react to stuff that I don't know anything about, so... Sorry to disappoint you. He called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name. He never refuted. He was tall, 
black-haired and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I have no Sintrian aristocrat at court. Wine itself. How'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? That the last you ever saw of them? They... That is to say, a, a few days passed. A, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel, and... Well, I've prepared it. Have it ready to deliver. Hmm. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabricio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sintrian Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. I'm ready now. See no reason to wait. Let's get going. We will set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. You will take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal. Geralt does a lot of waiting. Ah, our favorite vintner. Sting! Oh. oh, I'm fucked. Dude, I got stuck on the barrel. I actually got stuck. Couldn't fucking roll out of the way. Feels bad.
it just me, or did we agree you'd wait for my signal? That was the plan, but... Great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the scoundrels. Let's ask him a few questions. Come on. Witcher, a moment. I was wrong about you. Well, had no reason to trust me, and I didn't do much to change that. True. You are not the most endearing <laughs> of men. We're just having a bro At any chat rate, right now? I see the effort you put forth. And I appreciate it. Let us go to her grace. She awaits nearby. Not at all surprised. Expected she'd want to oversee this personally. The master's eye fattens the calf. You're beginning to understand that, I see. This prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. Captain, do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. Once again, who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call it. Wait. He doesn't wish to speak. He needs it. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. Hmm. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Borgle. What? What? Yep. He'll do just fine. Sure can. Fresh out. In that case, he is all yours. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope. Kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope? Live bait. Great for monsters, provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. Greg, you know! Don't let them! Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No! Don't let him! I I'll talk! Yeah, let's go! Barrels. Where were you gonna take them? I don't know. Captain, need that rope after all. I truly don't know. Hornet's the leader. Only he ever knew where to go. But he lies over there. Dead. That one. The first barrel went to a warehouse at the port. But where this one was bound, I don't know. I, I speak true. You must believe me. Who hired you? He... He'll kill me. I'll kill Gotta you. Gotta be worried about me right now. Who is he? Go on, man. Spit it out. The Cintrian. That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the man for this cake. That's what they said, that we were working for the Cintrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. Captain, we ride to town. Gather your men and seek out the Cintrian. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, Your Grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. Let's go. Let's go to town. Yeah, let's go to town. I probably should have said I'll meet you there so I could loot these corpses, but it doesn't matter. I have plenty of money at this point. He's late. Relax, he'll come. There's something I'd like to know. How can you be so damned calm? Side effect of my mutations. We witchers rarely get the jitters. What if something has happened to him? Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Perhaps he can, but this Cintrian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my godsman's gnosis. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. 
and it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. Still don't know this Cintrian's behind the kidnapping and blackmail. Might have just handled the theft of the wine. Even if it's so, he then sold the wine to the blackmailers. As I see it, that makes him an accomplice. Need to find the Cintrian, whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming. Captain, why so long? We expected you hours ago. This Cintrian does not work alone. We are fighting an organization. Oh One shit, he's been doing detective work? Bandits attacked us, not a small force either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. Not the first time. Used to it. Not the first time I've been hunted. Must you always? Now, the port warehouse where the wine was delivered, we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Cintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Cintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. The singer? I've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her. God damn, service. he's been around. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Cintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. What the hell is that? The Mandragora? What's that? A club. An affiliation of local artists. Painters, sculptors, troubadours and dancers. Never heard of it. They exude a mystique. Consciously, I think. Behaving like an exclusive cabal. Artistic elites. Every now and again they mount soirees. Only wealthy patrons are invited. All arrive in elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. Mm. Gotta nab the Cintrian. Seems we have to go to that get-together. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men, surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. Out of the question. If the Cintrian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Duchess is right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Precisely what we shall do. We, Your Grace. Geralt and I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's the event going to be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. Then meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. Okay. So it's settled. He's like, well, guess you're going to a party. We are. We are going to party. I should double the patrols, just in case. Hope you don't mind if I grab a few things from the guard shack here. Audacious rat, the Citrian. Kiss a dog's ass. All right. Well, I want to put on those. Um, 
Let me see. Yeah, let me let me go don a doublet. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know Geralt hates doublets, but you know, for the mission, we gotta fit in. Some clothing around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Ah, welcome back to our northern dandy. All jests aside, let me see what you got in your wardrobe. I'm more than willing. So, <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what you got. Elegant Beauclair doublet. Oh, gosh, that's expensive. Okay, well, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we'll grab. Let's get ourselves set up here. What's this? Is this a, a mask? For each element of the set worn. Interesting. surprise me <laughs> well well I did not expect you to have such a sense of style. My, my, Geralt. Not bad at all. And you've even a mask. Just not the kind required. <laughs> They're a little different, the ones Mandragora members wear. I brought you one. Put it on. Okay. Any idea why they wear masks? Likely because they imagine it oh so very romantic and mysterious. The truth is far simpler. 
This way, no one can tell which drunken aristocrats are pinching the performers. Hmm. Let's go. Soiree started. Mm-hmm. Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise. That's certain. Yeah, I figured as much. How do we find the Sintrian? Have you a plan? Key is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Right. Right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come, it's our turn. Madame, Monsieur, an extraordinary pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora Soiree. Tonight, I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. What are these performances? Tell us about these performances. This evening, the Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont, a singer whose voice, were it stone, would surely be a diamond. Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has sung. Shame. You would have loved to hear her. Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti, a master of visual illusions, come to us from far off a fear. Visual illusions? Interesting. And the third artist? Uh, the third and fourth, for they are a duo, are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. Hmm. Might be interesting to watch. We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Ballant. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm. I don't know where she is now, but I can give you a clue. Let's hear it. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Hmm. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the orchid. Okay. Well, well. Dandelion's always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. <laughs> yeah, why is Dandelion not here? The residence belongs to none of them. They are guests here. Oriana, she owns this. Woman in the black dress. There, on the balcony. Got her. Doesn't wear a mask. It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Kaviri Orchid. Let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Wait. Ha. <laughs> Quite the noble color. Splendid. Scout over 
or a deeply internalized I was prepared for all sorts of criticism, but pretentious. Come, let's look in the alcoves. Blah, blah, blah. I felt pretentious. I was prepared for all sorts of criticism. Blah, blah, blah. Look at the mage. I believe he's casting spells. Yeah, we'll see. Thanks for that stagger. I'm sure you understand. There are great. We wish to be alone. Please, stop. But are you sure? Huh. Wait, hold on. Say the leasing never suspect the dolphins. That is no ordinary illusion. The man is a true artist. Mm -hmm. Impressive. All right, the alcoves. Right, it's not either of those. As for the stomach, are you sure it's an origin? My employer swept. Leave us be. We are busy. Not in there. Are you sure? All right, maybe alcoves on the other side, outer. Oh yeah. Oh shit, here we go. Do not disturb. Shoo, shoo. Mm -hmm. It's the right flower. Of course it is. A Koviri orchid lends just the right contrast to her complexion. Need to talk to your model. It'll only take a minute. To me? Lie still! You may speak, but for love's sake, do not move. Wow. Impressive portrait. I know the style, the stroke. This is Dorian Villes. The gracious lady has heard of me? I... I've heard... Anna Henrietta herself wished you to paint her portrait once. Ah, uh, at one point, the palace chamberlain even wrote to me, but, alas, ultimately refused my terms. What was the matter? 
When he learned I only F for paint nudes, he suffered all contact. He said he would not dare offend her illustrious highness with such a proposition. I've always longed to paint her such a shame. I think you may still get your chance. Oh shit. We came here to meet you, specifically. To meet me? But why? Sentry and Noble you came here with. Wanted to ask you about him. Sentry and Noble? Ah! You must think I'm Cecilia. Orchid uh, confused me. I told you not to move! As she concluded her performance, Cecilia tossed the flower into the crowd. I caught it. But... I did see the nobleman. Really liked to talk to him. What did he look like? Like many here. Tall, dark, masked. Know where he might be now? He gave Cecilia a small gift. A heart-shaped box. Then they strolled off together towards the refreshment tables. Excuse me, madame. Monsieur, I cannot work like this. You must leave now. Gosh, what a... Jerk, man. Let's see if we can find. Someone left their loot behind. Looks a little like dandelions. Empty heart shaped box. Cecilia must have left it behind. It looks like it held a flask of perfume. A gift from the Cynthia, I imagine. Scent still hangs in the air. Let's follow it. Hit a fist tag. Artists' way of numbing their existential pain. I do not even wish to comment. Yeah, fist tag, that'll do it. How funny would it be if it was that lady and she was lying? You definitely come. Sorry, only artists in the Mandragora allowed. Come, we must consider what to do. I might recognize that voice anywhere. You, you must be mistaking me for someone else. I served 15 years in the palace. Your Grace, I'd not mistake you for anyone. Shh, not so loud. We are here incognito on state business. Yes, Your Grace. How may I serve? First off, yeah, don't tell anybody you fucking see I hope we can count on your discretion. Of course. I shall be silent as the grave. Fifteen years, Looking huh? for Cecilia Bellant. Seen her? She's in her dressing room, where she went with a nobleman. They clearly were drawn to each other. What did the man look like? Tall, broad-shouldered, the black beard peeping out from under his mask, and he spoke with a foreign accent, a drawl of sorts. It must be him. We must get to the dressing room, quickly. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take you. No, stay here. Anyone tries to flee, you stop them. Understood. Quickly, upstairs. Oh, we're about to walk in on them banging. Fuck. That, that must be Cecilia. Fuck. We're too late. No pulse. We're too late. He slit her throat. The brute. Mm. Didn't go out the door. Guard would have noticed. Might still be somewhere here. You must find him before he harms another. I shall alert Oriana. At once. She should bring her soiree to a close. Shouldn't split up. Get up. I will be fine. Go after that rogue. I shall fetch help.
Pretty fucked, if you ask me. Tore down the door. Handprint. Made a platform. It's his. Must be pretty strong, too. Broke the flower pot when moving the door, then stepped in the soil. Hmm. Must have climbed this ladder. Footprints made by soiled boots. I'm on this trail. I'm on his trail. We gotta get him. Could still be here. Need to stay alert. Links of a snap chain. Jewel must have been on it. Precious stone. Bloody fingerprint on it. Thief came for this. Must have. Tiny chain links next to it. From a snapped necklace. Seems there was a struggle. Jewelry box. Box busted. Picked open, probably. Smashed mirror. Someone crashed into it hard, then sank to the floor. Sconce is bent. Smeared with blood. Someone try to grab it. Empty inkwell. Knocked over, turned toward the room. Canvas is cut. Somebody took a knife to the painting, looks like. Well, there's your knife. Hunting knife. Richly ornamented. Used during the fight, probably. Looks valuable, but it's not what he came for. Blood on the window frame. Someone climb out? Fall out? Jewel was in the box, it seems. Centrion tried to steal it, but someone got in his way. They fought, struggled, that's clear. Ended with one of them flying out the window. Fall had to have killed them. Jewel's still here, though, so our Centrion must have been the flyer. So, this is the tracker. A witcher, yes? Indeed, this is him. We found the body. I thought today. they were coming to kill me. I thought I was like, oh shit. In pursuit of the killer. And ended up here. But I've only found evidence of a fight. Seems the Centrians killed his last. Finally failed this time. Shame it happened too late for Cecilia. Poor girl. Always told her she chose her males badly. But I would never have suspected she could arrive with a murderer. I'll alert the staff. Have them see to her body at once. Meanwhile, we should sit. I will tell you everything in full detail. What? What do you mean, tell me everything? I caught him red-handed, attempting to burgle, rifling ah. through my possessions. What did you do? Summon the guards? Oh, there was no time. I feared he'd escape, refused to give him the chance. He stood with his back to me, so I attacked. He struck his head on a picture frame as we struggled. He was bleeding, dazed, and then he drew a knife. Everything happened very quickly then. I knocked the weapon out of his hand and pushed him hard. He fell out of the window. Just so. None too wise picking a fight with an armed robber. Why? Because I'm a woman, in a frock rather than plate. I can take care of myself, I assure you. A hairpin might look like mere ornament, but plunged into an eye, it can be as effective as a blade. <sighs> Claim the man was trying to rob you when you walked into the room? Yes. He stood over my dressing table, pouring through my jewelry. Mm -hmm. After this is my guess. Picked it up while searching. Why, that's the heart of Toussaint. Oriana, how did you ever come to have it? I bought it, many years ago, from a young woman. Jewel seems important. Why? The heart is an heirloom. It belonged to my family for years. Then it disappeared. I didn't think we would ever recover it. Seems someone is very determined to find it. The thief left his tool bag behind. 
found this drawing inside it. Look. The heart of Toussaint. Representation's pretty faithful. Centrian must have been on a job. Got very clear instructions what to look for. So... So it is not him we seek, but his employer. Is this the only evidence we found? Also happened on the weapon he attacked Oriana with. Hunting knife. Used to skin game. Got an emblem on its hilt. This crest is used by the Lords of Duntime. The present master of the castle is a passionate hunter. Our next lead, perhaps. Maybe. Duntime. Remember the place. Abandoned ruin just a few years ago. More recently, the family's last heir, Roderick, returned to his ancestral seat and restored the castle. Know any more about this Roderick? His grandfather was an advisor to Queen Ademarta. The family received those lands as a grant for his service. Roderick is quite the recluse. He avoids society, preferring the company of a small team of knights. Though the latter term is imprecise, as they seem more akin to vandals with crests on their shields. Okay. Oriana, everything we discussed here, hope you'll keep it to yourself. Counting on it, in fact. Word gets out he, uh, failed in his attempt to steal the jewel. His employer could run. We need to proceed cautiously. Discretion is in the interest of us all. I'll not ask what this is about, just as I expect not to be troubled about it again. By anyone. <clears throat> Forgive me, Madam Oriana, but might I have a word? You must excuse me a moment. Oriana, any thoughts? Few make me feel awkward, but in her presence, I sense anxiety, discomfort. The drawing. It's on the same type of paper the victims' names were written on. Drawn with the same ink, too. Seems the work of our blackmailers. They were not only behind the beast's murders, but also stole the Son Real and sought to steal the heart of Toussaint. Look, the wine, the jewel, both tied to you intrinsically. Coincidence? Not something I'm willing to believe. Worried about one thing. That somewhere at the end of this scheme, plan might call for an attempt on your life. It... it could be something else altogether. My sister, Siana, might be among the schemers. She left court when we were children. My parents banished her from the duchy. I've not seen her since. Huh. Why was she banished? What did your sister do to get banished? Siana was... cursed. Parents run afoul of some mage? No. She was born at an inopportune moment. They said she was touched by the curse of the Black Sun. Geralt, is it true? Can an individual be evil because they were born during the wrong lunar phase? Could be the case. Could also be because they were treated like lepers from birth. Isolated, prodded, ostracized. Couldn't have had it easy, Siana. She... She was angry at the whole world. She felt inferior, felt pain, though she masked this with confidence, arrogance even. She could also be cruel at times. I recall one such situation. She persuaded Cedric the Coolbert that she could see the future in her dreams. We were children, and Cedric's brother was smitten with me. It was an innocent childhood crush. Siana knew of it. She told Cedric of a dream she had had, that he would die at the hands of his own brother. Cedric stole his father's sword and killed his brother. She destroyed two lives with a prank. Shit. Cedric mourns to this day. In the end, they forced her to leave the palace. A decade passed, 
more. I've missed her terribly since. Think your sister might be involved? Why? You see, I recall her always being rather possessive, throwing jealous fits if I had something she didn't. Here, that's normal for sisters. Rivalry. True. I suppose I gave as good as I got. There are times I miss that very much. The wine, its theft was the first clue. That's very much like her. She always did enjoy stealing my toys. But I grew almost certain when I saw the heart of Tusa. Siana received it from father as a gift. At a time when my parents thought of her as but an ill-behaved little girl, someone wanted some of my wine. The same someone ordered our family jewels stolen. Or recovered. It's my sister. It must be. A fallen princess satisfying whims, going after lost luxuries? Hmm. Could be right. Your mission has gained new import. You must go to Dun Tyne, and if Siana is there, you must find her. No matter what she did, she is not to be harmed in any way, shape, or form. You must make sure of that. Can't make any promises. Can't guarantee her safety, unfortunately. Especially if she's one of those responsible for these crimes. Witcher, that was not a request. Your Grace, Geralt, I'd like to introduce. Regis! What a surprise! I had no idea you were in Beauclair. And this is. Uh, my very dear friend, Detlaf van der Erite. An arrival from Nazaire. We are lending our combined resources to the witch's hunt. Ah, yes. Splendid. But why are you here at Oriana's? They came to pay me a surprise visit, so I invited Regis in for a glass of wine. We've known each other for... Ooh, ages. Literally. Witcher, I hear you know Regis too. Even that you are friends. Yeah. Few I can rely on like I can on Regis. Kinda hoping he thinks the same of me. Curious. It seems opposites really do attract. Don't be fooled, dear. Geralt has many merits. He merely hides them from the world very diligently. Mm -hmm. You said you're both aiding him with his contract. It involves the Beast of Beauclair, I suspect. Master Witcher, maybe you could satisfy my curiosity. What's it like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a monster, knowing you've only two options, to kill or be killed? Despite what you might have heard, I don't lunge at every monster I see, sword in hand. Talking gets the job done for some. Hmm. I wonder what a monster might have to say to you. It might want to apologize. My word. For what might a monster wish to apologize to a witcher? For killing. Though at times there is no choice. When loved ones are at risk and require protection. Just like humans. Same as humans. Put them in that situation, they'll kill too. You understand this. It must be why you and Regis are friends. This very indirect you conversation. You would rather help a monster than kill it. If possible, yeah. Or at least try. Enough about the Witcher trade for now. Regis mentioned you come from Nazaire. I spent time there as a child. Fond memories? It was wonderful. I was positively entranced by the land's fashions. Deep-cut dresses I found most fascinating. I believe we're running short on wine. I should go to the cellar, bring another bottle. Let me go. Will I help Regis? Know your wine a lot better than I know mine. We shall return forthwith. Oh, we're gonna have a little chat. He's gonna be like, why the fuck did you bring him here? An exceptional conversation, don't you think? Vampires, a witcher, and the Duchess of Toussaint? My, my. Highly exceptional, Regis. Wanted to talk to you in private. 
You crazy bringing Detloff here? Geralt, yeah. allow me to explain. No, let me explain. He's dangerous, and you are gonna watch him. But that is precisely what I'm doing. Detloff believes you'll succeed in your task, and he'll not need to kill anymore. That is, not until he gets his hands on the men who kidnapped his Renner. Guessing it's no accident you two stopped by. It would be quite some coincidence indeed. No, a dutiful little bird told us. Mm hmm Oriana. She really your friend? Can she be trusted? Uh, I met her years ago. Before I met you. And before she settled in Beauclair. We'd not seen one another in... Uh, oh, I, I can't begin to tell you in how long. But I shall tell you all about her some other day. Now listen close. Manage to learn where the blackmailers are. They're based at Duntime Castle. That's splendid news. If they are there, Renna must be there as well. Duchess expects we'll find her long-lost sister there too. Thing is, she might be involved. Could be behind the blackmailing. Do you mean to say your task now is to extract two women from the castle? Mean to say we can't breathe a word of this to Dedloff, who wants revenge above all else. Geralt, you must trust me. I've got away with... No, Regis. Can't risk it. Gotta keep Dedloff here while I go to Duntime. Alone? Alone. That way I can make sure neither woman will come to any harm. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine. I shall see to Dedloff. Good luck, my friend. Splendidly, Detlef. Ah, oh, I'm grateful you brought back those memories. You're back. It took you long enough. Contrary to what common folk believe, choosing a wine is not nearly as easy as it might seem. Especially a wine to be served to two exquisite ladies. Regis, <laughs> gallant as ever. I regret all the more that I shan't finish the second bottle with you. Duty calls. Your grace, always a pleasure. I thank you for your help. Blood and wine, but mostly Get wine. Out. Will you see me out? You have exceptional friends. This Detlaf, an intriguing man to say the least. Don't know him too well. He say much about himself? Not much, but I've a good sense of the true nature of those I meet. I'd not survive a week at court otherwise. So what's his? Sensitive, sad. He carries within him the weight of a terrible tragedy. He is a good man, but lost, which is why he comes across as grim. Well, I'd say that that's pretty accurate. To end like this. Neither did I. But I have not drawn you out for a romantic stroll. I wish to make certain you know what you are to do. Mm hmm. Gotta go to Duntine. I've decided my guardsmen will support you. You will meet them at Count de la Croix's mill. It stands along the Saint Retour River, near the Cockatrice Inn. Captain de la Tour and his men will await you there at midnight. You shall storm the castle together. Well. Well, let's get back in my garb here. This is kind of a nice set of armor. Not Witcher gear, but it's quite interesting. Hey, where's my mask? 
Uh, oh, there it is. It's actually a really nice set. Not gonna lie. XP for that. Alright, well. Take a look at the quests. Didn't expect to get, uh... to get that much experience from this quest, but I guess that's alright. Yes. I will ever repay you, Witcher. Don't expect to be paid. Hope you're feeling better, that's all. Oh, yes, I feel my strength returning thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. Glad I cut it short. Yes. Years of suffering. You know what was worse than the hunker? Watching my loved ones, my children grow old and die. All my family's long gone now. The last of my kin perished decades past. I fear I know where to go. You can stay here. This is a big house, big estate. You can stay here. Truly? I could never infringe so on your hospitality. Yet... Yeah. After all I've suffered, the years of starvation, I've but one dream. At last, to prepare food that fortifies, nourishes, to delight in the tastes and smells of spices, to sit at one table with others and eat. Hmm. Don't see a problem if that's your dream. You could help Barnabas Basil in the kitchen. Eating his meals. You know he's not a culinary virtuoso. Nothing would make me happier. Thank you. No, thank you. House could use a woman's touch. I've one other thing I'd like to tell you. Many years ago, my father assembled valuables for my diary. I never wet, so they remained unclaimed. These baubles are no use to me now. But to you, well, perhaps let them be a token of my gratitude. If you wish to find them, you must go to my old home, to Trastamara. The dowry lies hidden in a barrel in the cellar. There are several barrels. You must give each a knock until you find the right one. Do just that. Thanks. You sure you don't feel lonely out here? I cannot say yet. Too little time has passed since you freed me of my thrall. But somehow, for now at least, I do not feel drawn to the city, to others. Visited others' homes as a white. Yes, but ever at night, when all were asleep, I went in search of spoons. Remember, you can always change your mind. Decide you've lived here long enough, just say the word. I'd never wish to seem ungrateful. And I'd never want you to stay against your will. 
They have a very good I arrangement. Never expect someone with your past to feel drawn to the kitchen. Do you fear I will cook in your home as I brought as a white? Counting on you having slightly better taste as a human. Of that, you can be sure. I loved cooking, even as a child. My gran was a true master in the kitchen. Her spit-roasted oaks was famed throughout the land. Thought you were a lady, owned an estate. Do you mean to say a woman of my rank should have had a cook? You're right, of course. And I had the best of cooks. But I devised the dishes myself. They only prepared them. Hmm. Interesting. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. Is that right? Very nice. Perfect in the kitchen, too. Very, or in the dining room. Love it. swords we could throw in. We have Geralt of Rivia's sword. I think that'll do. Keep that on me. That's fine. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna throw... Geralt of Rivia's sword right there. And we'll throw... That Witcher sword there. That works. for this dowry real quick. This one's full too. Full. This one's full too. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Hmm. Strange. Mm -hmm. hmm. 
That's awful pretty. It'll look great in the house. Got him. Love to hear it. They love it. I guess I could. I thought that it was over here. Yeah, it is. Okay. Just a little bit of an indirect path there. All right, hold on. Uh, 48 is what I'm at right now? Okay. Well, I think I could probably turn this in now. Would probably be ideal. Fucking bug, man. Proven the five chivalric virtues dwell in your heart. Mean the sword's mine? I can dive in and take it? The sword deserves the hand of a master. You must prove your skills are worthy through combat atop the water's surface. Are you ready? Anytime. Then draw your blade. Proven worthy of wielding the blade, beyond all doubt. The hell? Behold. Your Arendite. We've met before. Certainly. The Hermit admitted he knew you. Remember? The Lady of the Lake. Oh, shit! It is I. Forget not that you are a man right and honorable, devoted to doing good. And for these reasons, you received the blade. Now bear it. And I trust this time you shall not lose it. Just wonderful. Now the grand question, does this blade scale? It does. <laughs> I think I need to wait until I'm level 50. To do this quest because or basically till right before i go to new game plus because it gave me a level 48 sword 
<laughs> I thought it was going to give me like a level 43. God damn. It scales with your character level? What the fuck? Wait, does this sword level up with you? Like, when I go to level 49, does it change it to a required level 49 sword? And it just like keeps doing that over and over every time I level up. That's fucking broken if that's the case. Okay, so it doesn't matter when you get the sword then, yeah? Because it'll just keep leveling up. What the fuck? Skills with you in New Game Plus 2? What? <laughs> Dude. That's fucking crazy. Each blow generates charges which increase sword, da sword damage by 10% every time you hit something? Oh my god. That's fucking insane. Using it now, you're level 60. And so it says required level 60 on it. It doesn't say required level 40, whatever you got it with. Huh. That's fucking insane. The Lady of the Lake is like the main entity of the, the last book. I know that much. I know the name of the book is called The Lady of the Lake. So I, I have to assume that they meant to do this quest as a callback to the last book. Anything over 43. Nope. Alright, I kind of want to get this level up and the remainder of these quests done. Especially this one. I was going to keep on with the main quest, but now that I'm thinking about it, the main quest is only one level behind me. I'd rather I'd rather do quests that I know are going to give experience so I can optimize New Game Plus. Because I. Shh, quiet before you wake it. Come, I've camped nearby. We shall talk there. What do they call you? What's your crest? Speak! Geralt of Rivia, crest of the bridge. Hail and well met. <laughs> well met. Golf, I presume. Your betrothed sent me. See, you've been gone a while, so you've got her worried. I... Well, indeed, for... For... Grotore is a most fearsome beast. I must prepare properly for battle. Takes two weeks, that? I have tarried a bit, true, but the delay is done. My word I gave, thus the beast shall die. 
wouldn't happen to need any help. Stop scaling at level 50? Huh. I, I don't Does it know. say required level 50 After all, then? I did swear a solemn oath to deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. All in all, I, I suppose you're right. I mean, I reckon it's still a fucking broken ass sword until probably like level 60 something. 48. Interesting. Okay. So maybe, maybe it's level 48 regardless of what you do then, because mine's 48 as well. fuck is in that box? Damn it. Night got ambushed. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. You're in White Orchard again? Gotcha. No. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Good lord. <sighs> Fucking fall damage, man. I hate it. Turn back. If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame. I think it's a relic, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. So fast. Let's take a look around. Impressive. You'd think you were in a winter garden. Cradle filled with children's shoes. And I've ever seen a collection this grotesque. Bones. Small skull. Various sundries. Most and tools. Infant tourists to take them over its victims.
need to lure it. Very well. To work then. God seems the brute is not here. We cannot change this. We must. All right. Well, relic. play Dying Light 2, Norman, but I didn't get a review code, and I'm like, I'm sure it's worth $60, but honestly, I can't really afford $60 on a game right now. We'll see. I, I'm also going to wait until my code request gets received before I even try to do anything of the sort. Won't be tonight either way, because I've already been streaming for 19 hours. Uh, oh, by my troth, <coughs> the damned brute was sturdy. I, I'm grateful, Witcher. You aided me greatly. Why the challenge? I couldn't have gone after something less formidable. A werebub, for instance. Why? For, for the beast must match in ferocity the very ardor of my affection and... You're blushing, Sir Knight. Oh, it's my betrothed. The thing is, she champs at the pit to get married when we've not known one another but two years. So I bowed to say Gratori. Thought it would buy me time. To battle such a beast, why it could take months. Mm -hmm. Especially oh, shit. the rate you were going. High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, oh, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle, wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. The world awaits. Uh, to honor her, I shall cut down oh, another. More terrible beast. Take my advice. Grab the damned head and cut the shit. Yeah. You're blind to my predicament. Once I return, I will have no recourse. She'll drag me to the nearest shrine. Why? Shut up and listen. Crests. Scrap metal armor, swooning damsels. All that's nothing to do with hunting monsters. Witches work. Damn hard, dangerous, and thankless work that you're just not cut out for. Wanna prove your valor? Go back to your betrothed and be honest. Tell her you're not ready to marry. Yep. You do not mince words, master. In Tucson, one might demand satisfaction upon trampled ground for a lesser slight. Yet? There is truth in what you say, I cannot deny. I survived with my life by a hair. This time, time I have returned home. Yep. Go home, chap.
Forge armor die. town, collect my reward. My god, this is fucking far. Okay, this is like in the middle of fucking nowhere. Go, go. Good news, madam. As do I. Francois has returned. We marry in a week's time. <laughs> Prenuptial teachings at the temple tomorrow. Dress fitting the next morn, then a tour of the wedding venue. I have never been so happy. She's gonna get fucking mad. Hmm. Not sure these nuptials are a great idea. What? I beg your pardon? Young Master Legoff. Well, he wasn't exactly raring to get hitched. Seems to me you two should re- Well, I never. The nerve! Not another word. Take your coin. We must be. Well. Just trying to prevent this dude from getting killed, so... That's all. That's all it is. At this point, I could pretty much do whatever in terms of uh, developing this shit. I reckon I should just upgrade this stuff the rest of the way, though. Alright, let's see. 48... 46. All right, this will work. I'm going to do these um, markers here. Let's take a look. There's three or four over here. May as well start over here. Gamma Roach.
whites are... kind of uh, necrophage or... yeah, necrophage. Ability point, very nice. More health for me, yay! <laughs> Gonna have a lot of health by the time this shit's over. I think it's better to develop my current traits before I start pursuing any other. Um, mutations. And the only reason that I say that... I guess I don't really know if those mutations carry into New Game Plus. That'd probably be good to know. I don't know if I'll be able to continue developing those mutations once I start. Do you know, Leonidas? Do you do you continue developing these mutations when you go to New Game Plus? From the stuff that you find in this DLC? Or do you have to like unlock it again? God damn, this sword is powerful. No, not the sword that I just was using there, but. I mean, I guess they are powerful. They're all powerful, because I'm, you know, almost level 50. There's not too many markers left, like maybe five. So I think I'm gonna do the rest of those before. Cause I, I think I'm, we're probably getting pretty close to the end of the main quest. Pretty close. I think we still have a probably a, a couple hours, I would say, but. Why am I using this? 
fucking steel weapon. Really, dude? They're fucking everywhere. Dude got wrecked. Mom didn't get the message. Rip. Alright, let's see. I see this one. Yeah, alright. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like we still have quite a few left. to it from here. That I can literally see it. Come on, man. There's a box in there. I need it. a little box whatever dude all right gonna head this way 
secondary quest. I mean, I reckon I could probably go ahead and start this one. Camp's abandoned, but a lot of this damage is recent. Guess I arrived just a little too late. Should look around still. Before I go back to that, hold on, let me let me go hit this up real quick. It's kind of like out here. Not really in the best of places, so. Now let's go. Green marker there. We'll get to it eventually. Go, go. In the meantime, let's do this quest. Judging by what ripped his throat open. Blood of the fresh variety. Monster attack was recent. Yo, Leonidas, I got a question for you. You might have been AFK when I asked you earlier. When you go to New Game Plus, signs of a fight. Is this still there as soon as you start for your like extra mutagen stuff, or do you have to like unlock that again? It's beastly ones, that's clear. Just on this spot, though. Hmm. Aerial attack must have been. Draconid, gotta be. Maybe a basilisk? Except these prints don't belong to any variety I know. Just a little different. Area's dangerous. I'd say there's a basilisk nesting around here. You'd be wise to remain at some distance. Yes, I'm familiar with the matter, and quite proud to say a basilisk does nest here. I look after it personally. Look after it? It's not exactly a pet. Beasts murdering folk who come through here. Just a minute. It does not murder those who do not trespass upon its territory. You post those warnings? Indeed. To prevent anyone from coming to any harm. Well, a lot of good they did. Got a freshly mangled corpse right here. Most likely a merchant, the poor bloke. Just today, I learned two traders had chosen this route despite the signs. I came as quick as I could to warn them. Too late, alas. I've instructed my servants. They shall take the body, return it to the family with a generous sum as recompense. Claim this to be the last surviving basilisk? How do you figure? The last of this subspecies. Their population was much larger at one time, see, before the beech forests were felled. Mean to suggest a direct correlation between beechwood forest density and basilisk populations? Indirect, I prefer to contend. Beechwood forests are the chief habitat of roe deer, you see. In turn, a staple of the basilisk diet. When roe deer grew scarce, basilisks made humans their staple food. 
enter the Witchers. And thus, we've come to this one last specimen. It's a female. As recently as last year, we still had two. But your cast's mate passed on, alas. Your cast? Should she not have a name? My father dubbed her in honor of my dear departed mother. Your cast was brooding then. Two eggs. That she cast from her nest, alas, when the male perished. Who exactly are you? And how do you develop such an interest in the beast? Count Borges, happy to be of service. As to the beast, well, this subspecies is our dynastic symbol. The Desalfareses have for centuries signed with the Regulus Platinum. As family legend has it, a female of the species rescued an ancestor, a boy at the time, from a burning building. She took the tyke back to her nest, where she fed him as if he were one of her own youngsters. Malarkey. To be sure, but beautiful malarkey it is. Pay the victim's family's compensation? Why? These lands have been my family's for decades, granted to us by Duchess Ademarta. Beyond them, the basilisk ventures not, hunts not, it does not kill or destroy. Provided it is not provoked. Yet if it does destroy, if it kills, I compensate all for the loss from my own coffers. <sighs> Your coffers? Got a store of sons and husbands in there to compensate for those shredded by your beast? Naturally, I cannot revive the dead, but I do make generous restitution to their loved ones. Just last summer, I paid a leather tooler's widow 800 crowns. This unfortunate merchant's family to be duly indemnified as well. Where's the basilisk nesting? Any idea? Of course I have an idea. But you don't really expect me to tell you. Those are not toy swords. I know your intentions. Find it myself, then. Easy to track with its distinct paw prints. Mentioned two merchants. So I might also look for the other corpse. think that this count is very happy about me encroaching on his investigation. has a terrible fear of fire. She's a highly sensitive creature. Rid your mind of any thought to kill her. You would destroy the last of a species. Strange. These burn marks. Beast's venom make them. Subspecies must be highly toxic. It is so indeed. A wound from a sterling basilisk festers long. Need to brew a potion that'll neutralize that. I do like brew. I do very much like the brew. Busted barrels. Content spilled all over. Must have been tannin in there. Used to treat leather. Beast smashed the barrels. That's how the scent got on the scale. Yo Coco is so very curious. Strong scents especially intrigue her. The barrels, they must have drawn her in. Drawn her to the caravan. Busted barrels slimed with venom. Hallmarks of an attack. Basilisk must have caught the second victim here. Anyway, got two scents. Venom and tannin. Ought to be enough to track the beast. Why track her at all? Your cast is protected. Her death would forever destabilize the ecosystem. Who knows what would happen? I see unforeseeable consequences down the line. Simply refrain from provoking her. Harm her not, and she too will leave you untouched. I've long suspected they do it on purpose. Sent their goods. 
They seek to lure the Basilisk to destroy their wares. It allows them to demand compensation from their assurers. Orders dispersed. Seems to be everywhere. Basilisk must be high in the sky. Sense perceptible again. Well, here's the other one. Just as I expected. Second victim, but relatively unscathed. Basilisk must have been dragging him back to its nest for later. Dropped him for some reason. Wonder why. First guild contract. something but it's no basilisk screech human voices whoa whoa what's going on here yamo harry prepare the equipment base wandered off some ways we got to lure it back and who might you be funny about to ask you the same. They call us the Reavers. Reavers? Reavers. Wouldn't happen to hail from Grinfrid, would you? Aye, we do. But how's it you know? And again, who the hell are you? Geralt of Rivia. I'm a Witcher. Know your brethren in arms. Bohold, Kennet and Desperate. New boy, too. <sighs> ah, you're that witcher. Aye, Boho mentioned you. Said you swing a mean sword. Oh, real mean. A professional. Good, you came along. Could take on the brute together. Talk is the venom something horrifying. Could use another pair of hands. Feed what we've gotten from the guild. We'll share it fair and square. You in? Gentlemen, this hurts my ears and pains my heart. You aim to kill your cast? It cannot be. The creature is protected. If you fear to lose the guild's reward, I shall repay it and reward you doubly to leave the beast be. You cannot slay the last living specimen of a near extinct subspecies. Willing to pay, are you? Long as we do nothing? That's rather novel. What say you to that, master? As far as I know, beasts culled the human race by five already. Yeah, the beast needs to die. Beast has to die. We work together, we'll make quick work of it. After all I told you of your cast, you would murder her? Oh, you will regret this, friend. I know folk. I shall tell them you slew the last surviving specimen. Sorry, Master de Salvares. Actually, not sorry. A monster's a monster. Silvery, plaid, or polka dotted. Last or next to last specimen, doesn't matter. It's a dangerous predator that kills humans. Enough said. Herbalists, alchemists, I know many. They will despise you. I shall tell them of a heartless cur who cares not an ounce for balance in nature. You shall pay arms and legs for their wares. More! Somebody plug this Lorden's gob, eh? Right, Master Witcher. <laughs> How do we aim to fight the filth? We've crossbows. Comply with bolts while you do the hack and slash. Or all go at it as a bunch, blades and end, fire in our hearts. You decide. You're the one with experience. Use your crossbows, keep her on the ground. Good idea. Do you say her? It's a female, yeah. Hear that, lads? We've a learned witchery. That's right. Hundred spans out, and he spotted what the lizard's got between its legs. <laughs> right now, lads. You've heard a specialist ready at crossbows. All good and fine, but the monster's not in its nest. Gotta track it down first. Not at all necessary, Geralt. We looked into it. Gave it a think. Traders use tannin to lure the beast. Who says we can't do the same? 
It's a good idea. You've got any tannin? Came into a bit, aye. Yeah, willing to do the honors. Look at these guys, so helpful. Look, I'm here to kill monsters and save lives, all right? People are getting killed going through this route. And they know that, and they're collecting insurance money. There. Grab your bellies! Shoot the bitch down! This basilisk, draconid, oriole. All right, hold on. Oriole, and of course we got Ekimara, Succubus, and Water Hag. Good job, boys. A stroke like that to fight to the true witch's side. Prime the way you swung that razor, mate. Mention some fee from a guild. I hear you right. Ha! Witcher drives right for the gut. A professional, right thorough. Your share, friend. Every last copper as we agreed. Got him. We'll collect us a few of them silver scales and the tail. Proof for the guild, right? And I'll take the head. He's pissed. And we'll get word of you to some folk. Merchant folk, meaning. They ought to treat you right. Thanks, and farewell. Silver Basilisk. Basilisk beat. Quick and thorough. That all as well. Your cast. Cruelly slaughtered like a common beast. Nope. Yo, this, this basilisk was killing people. I don't even want to fucking hear it, alright? I don't even want to fucking yeah. hear it. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. Alright, um... Start with the markers and then go from there, I guess. Oh! 
Poison got him. All right, well, cool. How are we looking on inventory? 150 of 170? Okay. We're in a pretty good spot, I think. Emma Roach. of the what? Oh, those are nice. I like those. Quite a few of these markers still. I'll try to do as many as I can. Reckon I'll just swim across. Uh, Master Witcher. Master Witcher. Witcher or not, you still uh, wound doesn't look good. Patch that up quick if I were you before it starts festering. If I needed medical advice, I'd have called for a healer. And you look like none such, not even a quack. Uh. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted a Witcher to help you, you should have thought twice about being rude. Forgive me. The paint's so blasted bad, it's darkened my mood. A foulness has made its lair in the grotto. I barely escaped with my life. I've been eyeing the cave for a storehouse quite some time. Would you look inside? Guess I can have a look. Not for free, though. A fair offer. See what I can do. See what I can do. Wait here, and you need to clean that wound. Trust me. Just, just trust me on this, okay? Just trust me. This empty dead sweep up here. Watch it. Horse.
Alright, let me take a look at the ladder, or rather what's above. Let's see what else we got up here. Quite the little stockpile you got going on here. front. How convenient. Alright, I think we're good. Let's roll. I miss in my storehouse? Done. Done that already. Ran into a few giant centipedes. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, and how am I to prevent them from crawling back in? Don't know. I kill monsters. Don't predict the future. You needn't be cross, Witcher. You shall get a good price on all my goods. In gratitude. Come back in two days' time. You will see the fine storehouse I've made. I'm on. See you later. I don't understand the purpose of the storehouses. Like, why come back in two days? Like, it's literally just to buy wine. Unless he sells something that's just, like, completely exclusive, which I don't think he does. I mean, I could rest for two days and find out, I guess, but... It seems kind of pointless. So, hundred percent. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I knew it. <laughs> Not fucking stupid. is all over this fucking place, man. Gotcha. <sighs> Tragic. All right. For now, fiend decoction just to keep me in a good spot. Faster. Um. 
And now, next marker. Let's take a look. It would seem that there are only the four left over here. Slower. I'm going to move towards this uh, other marker. travel to this place. And we'll start here. Okay. I'll come back for the quest. Focus on the markers right now. Only three left. At this point, might as well see those through.
see a ladder. So it is probably upstairs. Save game, cool. Two more. I know I'm over encumbered, but I'm just gonna get this done. Could you get the fuck out of the way, dude? Come on. Lucky man, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Hope the stream was good. There it is. All right. Well, I'm going to slowly work my way over. Is there anything over here? Let me see. Oh, there's more. There's more of you, huh? There's quite a few of you. a lot of bugs but zombies are so much fun I couldn't get into Dead Island interestingly enough I know essentially Dead Island is just kind of the the precursor to Dying Light but yeah I couldn't I couldn't get into it I don't know what it was it just seemed a little too clunky to me which I guess uh it being buggy probably has a lot to do with. Tried playing the first one and it just wasn't for me. I'm s using my sword to get around because it's 
faster to move that way. When I'm over encumbered. I reckon what I could do though is actually Required. Well, somebody's got to have it. You. Oh. Which means. It's got to be. Oh, here it is. Ernest Scrawler's Journal, huh? You save my life. I thank you. Should you need something, find me at the cockatrice. Night for hire. Well, got all my contracts done. Got all those finished. I still have one more marker, though, so. Hey, yeah. Necrophage. It's not the woods, it's actually on a fucking sunken ship. Cool. I mean, I don't really read the files, I just like read a couple words and then I'm like, alright, good enough, we'll figure it out. <laughs> the only way. Alright, let's see. I love how it's like, yeah, search the sunken boat. That's a nice treasure chest over there, but I don't think it's my treasure chest. That's the treasure chest I'm looking for right there.
Where are we going? This way, I guess. All right, that should be the last one, the last marker. I'm gonna double check. Yeah, it looks that way. All right, perfect opportunity to go sell some shit. I need a marker. Uh, where am I going? Perfect. Come on, Roach. Let's go. Fast travel into town, sell at the merchant. Get back to a state of being not over encumbered. Place of power. Should draw from it. No more places of power for you, sir. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god, dude, really? Dude, I really... Really need shit like this to not fucking happen. Roach, come on, man. Stupid fucking horse, dude. I swear to God, man. Thank God. Really didn't want to have to fucking redo a segment of those markers. Back to town, back to town. I need to go talk to the armorer so I can sell this shit. I'm way too heavy right now. Way too fucking heavy. <clears throat> hit my desk. Let's go. Right, let's go. I this burning stop in It's right here. <laughs> One little too far down. Arc her most gracious duchess has hired the witcher to get the ghost. All right. Greeting. What do you got? What do you have? He's got cash. Sword. Wow, 
Wow, that sword is very nice. 810, good lord. Thirteen hundred for repairs. That's not surprising. <coughs> Does this dude have anything I want? Probably not. Manticore. Five toxicity? What? What? Five toxicity? What? I don't understand. I'll make the Manticore set. I need a Dimeridium plate. Three Dimeridium plates. plates. It's really not that expensive. Four, that's for sure. <laughs> I think I'm going to melt down some stuff to try and get a little more cash back too. steel sword. Yeah, these are a little pricier than you'd expect. What's a dismantle on them? Anything good? No, not really. It wouldn't even be worth it for me to dismantle them. I'd, ra I'd rather take them to Novigrad. Farewell. Good. I'm gonna go get paid real quick though. Uh. 
fuck. Just rest to throughout this. So this is the armor that he's wearing in the fucking like title card thing. Reports of feats of great bravery. Thus, please accept this reward for your dedication, sir. Well, see so you. Go in peace for a night. I swear on my honor. Thou tears, men. How Let's check out. What else I've got? Got a Witcher contract there. But before I do anything else, I want to go to Novigrad. Got some business to take care of over there. to do here. I'm going to try to pare my inventory down as much as I can to be honest. I think it will be a good decision to just try to be as lightweight as I can be. Order in the fatherland. Yeah, Leonidas. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm determined to try to get as close to finishing this tonight as possible. Because I feel like we're a little behind schedule. In a hurry. Greetings, idea. Greeting. What do you have? You should have a little bit of cash. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. See, he actually doesn't pay as nicely as I thought. But, I mean, he still pays well. Don't need to remove the color, so. So long. Alright, let's see. Got quite a few things I need to drop off. My Witcher set. Maximum charges for each alchemy item. That's actually kind of nice, I'm not going to lie. And you know what I didn't do? I didn't make the fucking... I didn't make the manticore swords. I'll have to do that. But before I go any further... What is this? Bonus experience. And gold? Huh. Wow. Sure. Ah! Uh, I'm not gonna like stop what I'm doing to show you the build, Alex, but it's an alchemy build. I can tell you that much. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna drop off this Manticore set. It's actually super tempting to get extra charges, but... The bomb thing kind of ruins this for me. Strong attacks increase fast attack damage for five seconds. What is 
What's this medium armor? What is it? Yeah. Plus 10 maximum toxicity. God, that's so good for this build, though. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna use the Manticore armor. to sell my junk. Well, well, the freaks. The swords I have are stronger than the Manticore Grandmaster swords. Yeah, I'm just tempted to try to figure out. I don't know if there's a Manticore crossbow, unfortunately. I don't know. If there is, I haven't found it. I thought about doing, like, two half sets, like, three-piece. thought about doing, like, three-piece feline, three-piece Manticore. I've been kind of thinking about that, but... I think I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to go without the set bonus. Actually, yeah. Buy my wine. <laughs> Yeah, because, like, I found Witcher crossbows, but they're, they're fucking weird. I can't believe that there's like no place for me to put this trophy. Oh, you know what? I could probably put it back in my house. I could probably put it on the wall. It's a different kind of trophy, but it might work. Uh, where the fuck is it? Here it is. Had a snow day. There you go. Nice. Yeah, dude, we're getting fucking wrecked over here. I looked out the window earlier and my my windows are covered in ice. Like like the sides of the house got pelted so bad that no inventory item that can be placed here. You know what? Maybe not an inventory item, but I do have an idea. I thank you for letting me stay. I cannot remember when last I was this happy. I'd never expect someone with you. Do you fear I of that? Not you. Do you mean? I forgot. This is uh. Take care. Forgot that's not what I wanted. Uh, all right, hold on. Did 
there is a picture that's missing somewhere. I don't remember where it goes, though. I could have sworn it was there, but... It just like straight up doesn't let me put this trophy in my fucking box. God damn, man. That sucks. It's pretty shitty. Well, not much that can be done about it, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and make the Manticore swords, even though I'm probably not gonna use them. Just so I have them. Just so I have them. Out of the way. I was to get a new Oh, what are you doing? So I reckon we're going to be hitting the tail end of this quest line here very soon. Yes. Another murder by the horrid beast. Greeting. All right, let's see what you got. Oh wow, he's already back up to crafting. Silver sword. Manticore. Craft. And Manticore Steel. Cool. What are examples of a nice high level weapon that might not even be Witcher gear? Bellhaven Blade is 46. Forty-nine, the Knight's Steel Sword. Basically just better in every way and also cheaper to make, what? Yeah, the Knight's Steel Sword is better times a thousand. Like, okay. That's actually a tempting one to make. Only takes two Dark Steel ingots. And the damage on that is actually really nice. Two Dark Steel ingots. It's a nice blade. Farewell. It's a very nice blade. Something is reducing the levels required of this stuff by one. Because I I'm telling you right now. Damn, that's a nice looking sword. So let me see here. Maximum toxicity. Yeah, I definitely want this stuff, even if just for that purpose. 
I use Quen a lot. But I feel All like right. I feel like I don't need Quen on my armor. Like Quen's sign intensity is kind of irrelevant to me. Yurden is good. Axie is good. Igni. We'll do Axie. I want to get one for Quen. Hold on. Greetings. I hope. What do you have on? Yo, PlayStation. Thank you for the 18 months, buddy. Right, do you have a greater Igni? Uh, you do. It's only 2,000 chillin'. Okay. For good luck on the. And then I'll have to go to the rune right for that. All right, let's see. I kind of like the default color for this. I wish the shirt could stay white. Greetings. What do you have? Lesser ones. Nope. Not that I'm seeing. Farewell. All right, I need to go to the room, right? Otherwise, this is never going to work. Nope. Roach. Another murder by the horrid beast. That's so annoying. Alright. Well. I am going the wrong way, but it's fine. There's another fast travel right here. Oh! Yeah, I gotta go to the rune right, otherwise this ain't gonna work. I gotta get my runes put on the weapons here. Um, boom. All right, need some enchantments. Craft some. Specifically, my Toussaint. Yep. Good. 
Not enough sockets. Oh, yeah, I guess that one does. Technically, yeah. Treat it as light armor. I need Igni and reinforcement. Honestly, Igni, reinforcement. I got the coin, like, by a fucking mile. Dude, you can add sockets to this, too? What the fuck? Hold on. I, I, I don't want it to, like, overwrite the ability, so I'm going to have to be careful here. 30% returning damage received. Back to the attacker. Yep, that's what I want. The world's never ending. Let's just see. Crap, so Add sockets. Oh my god, this weapon's gonna be fucking broken. You can actually add sockets to this thing? Fuck, man. That's dirty. That's insane, man. Well, this thing just got 12 times more fucking insane. Alright, so I've got Witcher. Um... I've got Witcher gear, fully socketed, with a bonus to maximum toxicity. I am not going to die at any other color. Alright, I need to hit up my stash again. But I'm going to hit up the stash in... Toussaint, because I, I want to get my bonuses and stuff, too. Gotta lighten the load. Yeah, for an alchemy build, this is definitely the best armor to wear. For the extra toxicity. Manticore. Anything else that I can drop? Oh, fuck. I should have uh, taken care of my crowns here. That's fine. I really don't need it anyway. All right, so what's my weight? 33? I wonder what's weighing me down so much. Something's making me real fucking heavy, and I don't know what it is. items are going to disappear. I 
I think this will do. Novigrad. Yeah, I've been doing that periodically as well. I'm still missing a couple of books, I think, for the... That fucking book quest in Skellige. I have no idea what the hell's going on with that quest. But it's jacked up somehow. Get a good chunk out of it. Yeah, I mean, I'm sitting on 50k gold right now. Like, I'm I'm in a great spot for New Game Plus. Is there anything that you don't carry into New Game Plus? I mean, like, obviously you don't, like, carry your house from this playthrough into New Game Plus, but... I have 300 toxicity. My god. Kimara, but I also like Wyvern. Start all over in White Orchard. Right, but you like carry over your money and your gear and stuff, right? And your level, obviously. Yeah, what is it? Now, why does one summon a witcher, hmm? To inquire about the gossip currently flowing about the court? I have a problem with a beast. Ah, you the one posted the notice? Go on then, spit it out. What's it about? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. First, my dear Witcher, we must establish ground rules. Given the vast difference in our respective social positions, I'm sorry to say I take umbrage at the familiar tone you take. I expect deference. I expect. You I think to you might have been AFK when I asked previously, Leonidas, but the like custom mutations that you unlock in this DLC. Does, do you get to, like, modify that stuff right away in New Game Plus, or do you have to get to the DLC again? Fine, Monsieur de Bourbeau. The emphasis falls on the last syllable. Bobo. Bobo? Mm -hmm. See, now I'd rather emphasize something else. Tell me what this is about, Monsieur, or I'll change my mind and go. Very well. Let us get this over with. Something has infested my vineyard. Mm -hmm. Great. Let me go prepare my something oil then. I beg your pardon? Need more information than I haven't that. tried. Gotcha. Where was this something seen? Any witnesses? I mean, I'm assuming that that would stay as well, but I don't know. None has seen the beast. 
We've only heard signs of its presence, a strange scratching and shrieks. Neither are there any corpses to inspect. Men simply disappear without a trace. Who's disappeared, if you don't mind my asking? Mm, most recently some farmhand, I believe. Despite the vast difference in your social statuses, do you perchance remember the farmhand's name, monsieur? No. You must speak to my wife. She has more collegial relations with this household help. She's away at the moment visiting New Jones, her ability points and all that. So, like, you can go into that, like, I think when you're in the character menu, you press C you to, like, spend ability Where points on, like, from? adding uh, mutations well, to your character. Everywhere. You get to keep doing that, too. But they're most clearly audible in the wine cellar. Means the monster must dwell underground. Hmm. When are the noises loudest? In the night, just as they were years ago, when the buildings quaked. Another expert agreed to look into the matter then, but was never thereafter seen nor heard of. Oh, that should suffice with the questions. Now tell me, will you take the contract, yay or nay? Well. We gotta talk Depends. about my pay first. What kind of reward are we talking about? I'm gonna start with 600. Mm. Fine. Seems I must take the loss. Cool. Agreed. We well, can build on the points you already have. Gotcha. Fine. I'll I think this it. is my last contract. Need to look around here first. Before it's just me and, and the main quest. De Very well. I shall inform you once she has returned. Meanwhile, the key to the cellar. Just, whatever you do, please do not disturb the wine barrels. and side missions first. I mean, I'm like almost done with the main quest. I am definitely almost Shared done. Dishes. Got knocked off the shelf somehow. Shaken off maybe? What the See anything else here? I'll have to go down the other way.
I'm gonna get fucking lost in this shit, man. Be able to break through. I am gonna get so goddamn lost. Oh, okay, I see. These paths converge. Damn it, it's getting away. Thousand when the sword is charged. Oh my God! More interesting by the minute. No kicking more about this. Tunnels are the work of something much bigger, something with heavy, wide claws. underground, digs tunnels, feeds on Kikimores. It's big. Very big. Won't learn anything else here. Time to go back to the surface. Well, back to the top. I don't think it matters which way I go back up. What is the meaning of this? I'm paying you to slay a monster, not demolish my property. Property's falling apart on its own, what with all the tunnels under it. I'd fill those in soon if you don't want your building to collapse. Tunnels? Fiddle my farm, how did tunnels appear down there? Something dug them. A large creature also killed a few kikimores down there and destroyed their eggs. Consider it a half favor. Won't cost you much. Kikimore eggs. Yes, of course, good work. Indeed, a reward is due. <clears throat> Madame de Bourbeau, I presume? Here you know something about the missing farmhand. Jean Luc? Yes. We went to examine this year's seedlings. Something had been nibbling at them. Then we heard these odd noises. Jean Luc went to reconnoiter and never returned. Madame, could you describe Jean-Luc? Tall, exceedingly well built, hair black as pitch. Dear, concentrate. There is not a peasant that is not well built. They work in the fields all day. He means scars, birthmarks, that sort of thing. Hmm, then none, I suppose. But he did wear a pendant around his neck. A silver one. Silver jewelry? On a farmhand? It was a gift, I believe. Or that is what he claimed. Mm. Should be enough I to think go she on. was having an affair then with this farmhand. what are you around here for? Get to work! Stock send the whip away those running right. Alright, let's see. Red's really stale. Been here a while. 
blanket was laid out here. Mm-hmm. Starting to look like an affair. Footprints. Two sets. Starting to look like an affair. Track split. Woman turned back here. Man kept going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. Because they were fucking on that blanket. Mm-hmm. Trail ends here. Looks like she went back to the manor. Yeah, I'm not fucking here. stupid. Blood. Human. Piece of carapace. Horned gray shell. Claw marks. Straight. Dull. Perfect for digging. Mm. Felled trees. As if something rolled over them. So is Shalemar. Only they dig tunnels and move like that. The trail leads to that cave. Still don't think we found Shell a body yet. Rubs that feed on them are a delicacy to giant centipedes. I'm pretty sure I killed this Shalemar already. It might respawn for the quest though. Dead end. some bait. Need the blood of a recent victim and some of the mushrooms that grow here. Oh. Fresh corpse. Must be Jean-Luc. Crushed ribs. Cracked skull. Shalemar did this. No two ways about it. Silver pendant. A lock of hair inside. Same color as Madame de Bourbeau's. I knew it! Highly decayed. Hardly eaten. Been lying here a while. I fucking knew it. I told you guys. I told you guys what happened. Gotta spill it within the lair. Somewhere near an air current, so the scent spreads throughout the cave. Ugh, that stench. guy's a uh, furry one. Come on, show me your claws. Show me what you got.
do it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Fuck. Go get my prize, my cash prize. I've lots to do before then. Oh, they're in the winery, okay, or the uh, the storeroom. Best be bearing good news. Get I got good news. Got rid of the beast that was giving you trouble. It was a Shelmar. Shelmar? I'm not telling him about his wife. He can figure that out on his own. Kind of like a cross between a mole and a caterpillar. Just big as a barn. Uh-huh. Well, Master Witcher, you make a poor first impression, but ultimately proved your worth. There, your reward. As for Jean-Luc, I'm afraid he's dead. Sorry. Who? Oh, him. Trivial as losses go. I shall soon find another to take his place. Right. After all, he is just a peasant. Not a monsieur de blah, blue blah. <laughs> so long. That's right. Folks say some large army. I only failed five quests, guys. <laughs> Our business. And you, sir. Emma Roach. Right. I have a couple things I gotta do. Whoa there, Roach. Uh, most importantly, though, I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Very quickly, I'll just go sell what I have just to keep my inventory nice and clear. Especially since I'm done doing anything that's not like the main quest. Got all my markers done. There's one that's bugged. Feels bad, man. There is one that's bugged, but there's nothing I can do about that. Technically, two of them are bugged, but it's whatever. Nothing I can do about it. It's out of my hands. I have so many of these, I literally don't care. Just gonna sell them to get them out of my inventory. Right, we are gonna repair. 
there. We're gonna dismantle. Alright, good enough. Farewell. Good luck. Good enough. wanted to make sure that my pack was nice and light. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna head back to my house. Uh -oh. Trouble. That's the closest point to this. Anyway... We're gonna make it midnight. Do succubus water bag. Fiber. The four. Come on. Before I actually like start this, I am gonna perfect. Perfect. This is a good spot. BRB. 